Hi, um, a little bit of an unplanned video this morning. I thought, why not? I've been working on this um, since I got up, really. So this is the one that I posted a few days ago that's done, apart from I haven't buttonholed the edges, it's all basted together. And I've put another one together. So I actually pieced this last night, and then yesterday, sorry, and then I did the embroidery on it last night. So I've got bullion loops and beads there, you'll see this in the images, and then on here I've got French knots and stab stitch and the same on there, and I've just got stab stitch on there, but what I want to do now, I was just about to thread my ribbon through these drawstring channels, um, so I thought why not touch base with you, because it's a long time I think since you had a video, and I probably it would be better to do this when I've finished the edges, because this is only basted as well. Um, but, for the purpose of photographs today, for my blog, I wanted to do it now. And I've got to be careful because I don't want to be creasing what's going on on the other side. It's actually, you just got to trust to, to fate doing something like this when you've got work on the other side and you need to gather to pull a ribbon through. It can be a bit scary, I guess, but I've just got to trust a fit, like I said. So that's that one through now. I probably don't need all of that, so I'll cut that off a little bit. Um, I've just been looking, actually. I'm running out of this ribbon. And then I thought, this is really just decorative. Um, so I could perhaps, to save ribbon, just tie a bit there and tie a bit there and have it coming out, but then I'm only saving like four inches, so. I'd rather it was authentic, you know what I mean, so that I can pull it and things. Um, but I'll have to actually order some more of this. I put a ribbon order in the other day as well and I didn't realise I needed this one. So and now I'll put this green one in. I'm so enjoying all this pattern and stuff. Um, I'm loving it loving it so so yeah I just wanted to say hi Um I haven't done a video like I say for my public vlog for a, a long time I've been consumed with classes which is a good thing I'm doing because um, the current embroidery skills coming to an end this is part of that class the piecing and everything and the pages we're putting this cloth book, book together that I want to finish before we finish class um, so, and then I'm also so inspired by what's happening in ledger class. And I'm gonna, when I've done this and took my photographs for the blog today, I'm gonna do some more work in my ledger for that class because I really am fired up at the moment. So there, so. Pattern Liberty. And that's what's on the other side. But I guess you'll see that in the pictures and it seems to be unscathed after the pulling through. So if I get the other one, there's another two to do. Um, so they're going to be joined at the head. Uh, I don't think I can make my camera angle any wider for you to see this in its entirety. So. And there's another two to do. I've debated with myself about putting that silk there, but I wanted something white so that the drawstrings would show through. I did put a white drawstring on this one, and that solved that problem. But I didn't want to replicate that, you see. So that's why I put a bit of white on there, so these drawstrings would be more visible. They wouldn't stand out against the, all the pattern. So there, that's where I am. Um, loving it. Loving it, loving both of them.